watching. Gita Rose here. Thank you for tuning in. This week's video is about meditation. Meditation for star seeds and meditation for everyone, really. I feel that mindfulness meditation is an amazing tool for all of us, but especially once again those of us that identify as contactees, star seeds, and hybridized humans. It really trains us to be able to find the neutrality point, to quiet the mind, or to soften that part of the ego that thinks it needs to know. It can become then fully the perceiver of the reality, just noticing, 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 and then taking it back to the breath. I find that a lot of people have perhaps a skewed definition of what it means to meditate. People say, oh, I'm bad at meditating, or I have a really hard time meditating. Yeah, we all do when we first start. And even when we've been meditating for a long time, some days are way more challenging than others to find that stillness in the mind. And it takes practice. It is the act of meditation that gets us to the ability to have this still, quiet mind where we are able to truly choose how we wish to respond in each and every moment. But it takes time to be able to train. Okay, sure, I guess there's the possible reality where you can just jump to the reality where you close your eyes and instantly you can be on cloud nine and have absolutely no thought for like three hours and just watch your breath. <laughs> but from my perspective as humans, we like to experience the experience. We prefer to go on the journey. It's what we're doing as humans. And especially with mindfulness meditation, it really is like wax on, wax off. We are painting that fence. So what is mindfulness meditation? It is being with your breath, noticing any time a thought, a worry, a memory, fantasy, imagery, sensation, be it emotional, extra dimensional, physical, back to the breath. Bring your awareness back to the breath. Notice said sensation, thought, that might be worry. I do like to, in my practice, label Precisely, is it memory? Is it fantasy? Is it worry? And then back to the breath. You just label, notice it, and go back to the breath. We don't judge it. We don't divulge into it, be it a quote unquote good or quote unquote bad feeling or sensation or thought or memory. We don't give into it either way. Once we become aware that it's happening, we bring ourselves back to the breath. And many times, when we're first starting especially, you'll go on like a train of thought for what seems like perhaps quite a few moments, and then you'll, you'll wake up at some point and the observer that is able to observe ourself observing will kick in and go, oh, I've been thinking for the last 15 seconds, and then go back to the breath back to the breath. Really, if we are focusing on any sensation at all, it is the sensation of the breath. How does the breath feel coming in and out of our nose or our mouth? The nose is preferable, but what is ever comfortable for you? How does the breath feel coming through our lungs? How does it feel deep in the belly and the diaphragm? If we are paying it, uh, any true attention and divulging into any sensation, it is the sensation of the breath. Now there are many different types of meditation, different guided meditations, transcendental meditations, meditation with sound, meditation with movement. I personally feel that this is a really potent and powerful style of meditation to be done on your own without any guidance, without any sounds, without any music. 
being in your environment and maybe there are lots of sounds in your external environment maybe you've got lots of traffic or you've got the washer and dryer from your neighbors going in your garage and you can hear the kids running around and playing upstairs whatever the scenario is for you this is actually what truly trains us to be able to go back to that neutrality to be able to find our calm center point our true internal vibration, the true us, that then can really allow the ego or this aspect of the mind to soften and soften and soften for it to know and to be able to really receive that it doesn't need to know, that it is not its job to figure out how this and this and this and this needs to happen, or I did this and this happened, oh, that's because of this and this and this and this, the thinking mind, right? This is how we still the mind, is by training it back to the anchor of the breath. And from there, in our day-to-day -day waking life, this becomes extremely applicable because we can then begin to see, oh, that's anger arising. I have an emotion arising. I can choose to respond that way or not. It takes us again back to that neutrality point for us to remember that this experience that is floating through is just one of many, 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 many infinite ways that we could choose to be and embody in each and every moment. Always taking it back to the breath. The mind will wander, sensations will come through, the body begins to be uncomfortable. Take it always back to the breath, back to the breath. Even too, if extra dimensional information, visions start to come through. Things that, especially those of us that are high frequency beings, these star seeds that we are, um, we almost lust after, right? Having those types of connections, allow it to be just like any other thought, just like any other sensation, label it and let it flow. And back to the breath. That's why I feel this style of meditation for us in particular is really potent um, because it begins to really instill within us that all of these different experiences are neutral and we are the ones truly applying the meaning to it and then can actually harness it and hone it and apply it by finding that neutral space that is our breath. I feel 15 minutes is a great amount of time to be able to do this, but when we're first starting, 15 minutes, for real, seems like a long time. 10 minutes still kind of feels like a long time. Five, six minutes, in my humble opinion, it's like really not enough. If that's really where you want to start, or even one minute, two minutes, like, dude, do it, go for it. Anything that you can do that you feel comfortable with, any amount of time that you can be unstimulated sitting and watching yourself and breathing and being lit. <laughs> but I feel like eight minutes is a pretty doable, pretty approachable amount of time for most people. So let's do it together, shall we? Eight minutes of silence in a YouTube video. <laughs> Super weird. But let's do it. You can practice with me or not, but sounds like fun. Let's breathe and be and notice together. If you so like, if you so choose. Okay, here we go. So get yourself a, a nice cushion or sit in a chair, however you feel comfortable. And remember that thoughts and emotions come and go like clouds in a windy sky. Your conscious breath is your anchor. Always go back to the breath. See you on the other side.
So welcome back to a new version of you if you played along and meditated. And even if you just fast forward, welcome back, welcome forward to a new version of you. So was my mind quiet the entire time? <laughs> nope. I was thinking all sorts of things like, well, wow, I'm meditating in front of YouTube. Like, how weird is this? Are people going to think I'm weird? Oh, back to the breath. Oh, my knee is kind of sore. Oh, right, back to the breath. Oh, I'm feeling like spirits and like all of the high energy frequencies. ETs are also watching me. Oh, back to the breath. Back to the breath. Um, I've been practicing meditation on and off for the last 11 years. It actually happened before the channeling started, about a year or so uh, before I started practicing mindfulness meditation. And even still, I'm not like completely just still mind. Um, sometimes I have moments of that. But it's this, this training of going back to neutrality, back to the breath, back to the observer who knows it is observing to be able to make the choice. So I really, again, feel this is a great style of meditation for those of us that resonate, once again, as star seeds, as contactees, as hybridized humans, as empaths, as awakening humans, whatever label or not that you choose to identify with, this style of mindfulness meditation is a great benefit to humans. So a giant thank you to my new subscribers this week and sincere, sincere thank you to those of you who continue to support and encourage my journey this far. I very much appreciate it. Our minds may be different. Our bodies may be different, but it is through our hearts that we know our spirits are one. Ooh.